In a surprise move, King Charles has proposed a major shake-up in Parliament involving Prince Harry. The proposal, which was presented in a speech to Parliament today, has sparked heated debate and has many wondering what this means for the future of the monarchy. In this video, we will take a closer look at the proposal and examine the potential implications of this major shake-up. From the role of Prince Harry to the reaction of Parliament, we will break down everything you need to know about this historic proposal. The King's latest move deals yet another blow to Prince Harry after he and Meghan Markle were demoted from the royal family's website last month. King Charles personally consulted Parliament to change the positions of his siblings. If a change to the Regency Act is agreed upon, the King's sister Princess Anne and brother Prince Edward will become two important figures to the King. Princess Anne and Prince Edward's new position. The Express says that the King's request to make Princess Anne and Prince Edward councillors of state who can stand in for him is being rushed through Parliament. In a statement to the House of Lords, the King says he would be most content if his sister and brother were appointed councillors of state. Both of them were previously councillors of state before more royal children were born, overtaking them in the line of succession. Prince Edward is 13th, while Princess Anne is 16th in line to the British throne. His decision to broaden the number of councillors is seen as a way of sidelining two non-working members of the royal family, Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. The King explains that the changes would ensure the continued efficiency of public business when I'm unavailable, such as while I'm undertaking official duties overseas. The councillors are chosen from the monarch's spouse, and the four people in line to the throne act on his behalf in his absence, sickness, or abroad working trip to carry out all except for the most important roles, such as choosing a new prime minister. Councillors of state are the monarch's spouse and the four in line of succession who are over the age of 21. This includes the king's younger son Prince Harry, younger brother Prince Andrew, and Andrew's eldest daughter Princess Beatrice, in addition to Charles's wife Camilla, and his eldest son and heir Prince William. Some experts have criticized this proposed amendment because neither Andrew nor Harry performs official royal duties any longer. Prince Andrew and Prince Harry are no longer senior working royals. Which means their status as councillors could spark conflicts among the public. According to Reuters, due to a scandal involving his connection with the late US financier Jeffrey Epstein, a convicted sex offender, Andrew lost most of his titles and was removed from royal duties. Prince Harry resigned from official duties in 2020 and relocated to California with his wife, Meghan. It is believed that the king has made an important move. Some may interpret this as yet another affront to Prince Andrew, for whom Councillor of State is one of the few remaining work he retains after being deprived of his royal duties. This is a practical change made by the King as he prepares for a broad travels year. According to People, the announcement came on the King's 74th birthday, his first as monarch, and on the same day, it was announced that he would take over as the Ranger of Windsor Great Park, a position formerly held by his father, Prince Philip. The king will spend his birthday alone and has no official engagements scheduled, happy birthday anthems and military gun salutes were being played throughout London. In conclusion, King Charles's proposal for a major shake-up in Parliament involving Prince Harry has generated a lot of discussion and debate. While the specifics of the proposal are still unclear, it is clear that this would be a significant change for the monarchy and for the country. The role of Prince Harry in the proposal has also raised many questions, and it will be interesting to see how things develop in the coming days and weeks. Regardless of the outcome, this proposal has sparked a conversation about the future of the monarchy and the role of the royal family in modern society. We will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest updates as they become available. We hope this video provided you with valuable insights and information on this important topic. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe comment on my channel, and click the notification bell for future videos.